today I want to talk about how um, God greets you after you die when you go to heaven and um, compare the scriptures with my experience and if you look at uh, Luke 19.22 Jesus spoke of the poor man Lazarus sitting outside the rich man's house who only received compassion from the dogs who licked his wounds Jesus goes on to describe how Lazarus um, and in my interpretation uh, well he was a beggar but he was poor and dirty destitute hungry and he only had hope in God upon his death and he was carried he was carried by angels and placed by Abraham's side um, this was pretty much what I ex partly experienced um, when I almost died uh, I was eight years old uh, my spirit came out of my body and floated above the house and I was watching myself being carried indoors by my grandfather I then went um, higher like at first I was above the house and then I went higher into the clouds and I was floating upwards until I reached a point where I could clearly see the horizon so where the earth meets the land and at that point I saw the horizon light up and this light came forward uh, pretty much like in the picture I've got uh, on this video so the light came forward was coming towards me and I knew that it was 2,000 angels coming to take me home how did I know it was 2,000 angels I don't know just I just knew and I never actually made it to heaven and at that point I was stopped there uh, by a fallen angel attempting to get back into heaven but that's another story for another video but I believe um, that entering heaven will also be like the story of the prodigal son the prodigal son's father was so happy to see him and all his bad behavior and decisions were forgotten and there was a great feasting and celebrations for him what a gracious and loving father just because his son turns up so uh, we've got to show up we've got to show up for Jesus and repent every day and live different lives because love goes both ways uh, it doesn't go one way that's what Jesus taught me uh, love cannot exist unless both people love each other it's like a marriage uh, you have a husband and a wife if one loves the other it just doesn't work you know one you know might steal cheat lie you know and do all those things that Jesus tells us not to the other doesn't matter how much the other person loves that person it's not going to work it, it, there's no support there there's no structure um, it's it's based on there's no foundation so it will fail it'll fall down you know, the wind will come you know like it says in the bible the, the storm comes and the house gets washed away so as usual uh, my message is pray every day on your knees with your head bowed and your feet covered like the seraphim which are specific kinds of angels that in the that are in the presence of god and uh, read the Bible because the scripture the scriptures are God speaking to you um, and when you pray you're speaking to God and by reading the scriptures uh, you'll come to know Jesus and have a relationship with him you need to uh, keep in touch with him and we know how it worked out for the people that uh, turned up to the fe wedding feast and Jesus said to them uh, many will say to me on that day Lord Lord did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles then I will tell them plainly I never knew you depart from me you workers of uh, lawlessness I never knew you so you don't want to get up to heaven and be told that so keep in contact 
pick up the phone. Talk to your father. Um, get baptized. Read the Bible. And thank you for listening. May God be with us all. In Jesus' most holy name. Amen. <laughs>